shape that it depends. Yeah. That's what this is for. <coughs> yeah, I bet. But it's still great to be able to in so much in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. God is doing great things. And he has revealed to me that coming here is going to bring some new growth that needs to be even more so than before. Just new places that I don't understand it. <clears throat> and, uh, but the growth here helps my growth. It helps uh, Carol's family. And we both know that. We both know that, that this fellowship and, and a different growth and commitment is something that the Lord wants to do with us and bring us to a new place. And as for our kids, as for our people, we've got four and a half here. <clears throat> so it's meaningful in the place and that uh, beyond our understanding, we really don't just trust Him. We've been trusting Him all this time, we're going to see what He's going to do and how He's going to be it and where we're going to be up here. And, Brother Emmanuel's given me some good advice. As again, I was looking while I was here to see what was available around. And, um, but with the prophetic word he's had, just in the real estate market itself, um, I want to lean on the advice to wait a little longer on the word as far as revealing the word. Because something's better down the line than even a couple of things I saw this time. So. Found a house, took pictures, did a lot of little work on this particular one in Pierce Road. Mm. We kind of little farm at the end of the road. And mm. Could see, you know, could see that it worked, but then again, it's just like a lot of light and tiger. Mm. But you have to stop your shovel on the ground yet because you never gave us permission to do that. Mm. <coughs> so, waiting on him. Uh, We've been waiting on him for some of these answers for a couple of years now, maybe longer than that, something like But it's definitely work. We want to be where he wants you to be. Mm -hmm. That's where we want to be. And like Emmanuel had brought up, how when we speak on the phone and we meet uh, once a month at least, when it's not taken over by other things happen in life. Mm. Uh, every time we do, uh, we're, we're just walking in a different realm mm. by the end of our conversation. It just takes us to new places. And so there's new places to discover. And when I'm with this entire family, and when we're all together in the big room, you know, I see purpose just in whatever, you know, just in my own cases, whatever it is that he's given me for someone. And uh, but in the overall, the, the family committed to the Lord like this as a whole. And uh, you know, we we explain to others, you know, what a blessing it is to see this younger generation who talk about you. Talk about Elijah, talk about the children, the chill prayers, and um, singing from the heart. You can see it. You, you, you recognize the difference between what's coming from the heart and the case just repeating something that you're told. <coughs> These guys here, they love us genuinely. I pursued his journey. Regardless of any rough spots that try to get in and battle to get to new places because you believe your heart's standing. That's how I can tell you about how much Special. Mm -hmm. You just don't see that. Mm -hmm. You guys are very 
and use you in the greatest way. And this family is unusual in the greatest way. I've seen a lot of churchiness. It's not the same what they're teaching in universities. And there's a package picture and it's practiced instead of living. Instead of letting the Spirit of God live through Show up, tithe, that. It's all planned. You can't plan what the Holy Spirit's going to say next. It's not something you put on paper and every year you repeat it the same way and follow a pattern. What kind of relationship is that? How is that? A relationship with the Lord? You're just reading from a book. Making an itinerary, and this is what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to do by this time and that time. Mm. You guys have something real. Have something real. And you've been our exposure to a community like this, even though we've come down different paths, you know, uh, God brought us in paths that made it real to us. Made his spirit and his will and everything it takes to pursue him. He made it real, not churchy. We go to, we go to the church and we, we love the pastor and people and everything, but it's still the same. You know, I found the Lord, me speaking into that pastor's life through this time. He 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 saw me more as as a as a peer or a friend. And someone that just comes to church. And so the importance of the spirit that he's been exposed to teachings he wasn't exposed to. So how amazing is God that he raised up a family that's so real and, and, and I've seen enough not real to know the difference. <laughs> know and see where, where God's actually moving people's lives and how effective that is. He has shown me and, and my endeavors and the places he's taken me. He carries us on his shoulders through the whole thing, through all of life. And what comes out of your mouth in the moment is life-changing to so many people. And people know when they see real so many people are tired of the fake. They're, they're so tired of hypocrisy and fake Christianity. They see the dichotomy there. They, they can detect it. Especially mean people. They, they, they look hard at people you know, more than you think. When they come across someone that's real, they know it. And they know that you have love that's unusual. They know your spirit is unusual. They know what you have is meaningful. And they'll listen. They'll hear it. When God puts you in those situations, they'll hear it. Have no fear. When the Lord opens your mouth, let Him speak. Let Him bring you to new places. Bring people to new places. Because just know you're that unusual. Unusual. Praise be to God. We have parents and elders and the community <clears throat> seeking Him in this way that your lives have been changed and you've been moved into positions higher than you think already. You mean a lot. God has great work prepared for you. Great works. And we will continue to mention the names of people. You mean that much to us. And you all do as a community. Can't help but be filled inside. It's joy. Just tears of joy. Heart is so full because of what is going on here. Mm. 
you two radiate that. You're a reflection. As God is such a reflection of these elders into your lives, you're a reflection of that to us. We see it. That's why it's real to us. That's why we're willing to wait this whole time and just wait on the heel of how God's going to bring us here. We, we've seen the Spirit move right way back when we were meeting toward the beginning, you know, in your office over there. And <laughs> saw it. Mm. And that one meeting there, I told you, there it is. Mm. There it is, right there. Carol, yeah, right there, we're meeting in many of us. Mm. There it is, now let's look and see what's next. Mm. <laughs> First report team bring back to me about the joy he has to meet with you, you know, so to meet his parents, particularly you, you know, there's a the senior and he was thrilled. They did not go through that deal without finding the right person prepared for it. When they found you a Christian is that more than just any Christian <laughs> they said. We're going to do this because God seems to have a serious candidate for a care of the So it was a hardest because it was a good thing to invest. God has in it on their part. We feel, okay, you know, I don't know what to say, but the more importantly, on your part, uh, 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 that, that, they made that decision, senior and you know, this first senior, is because of you. Care of, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, so God set that up. It's a miracle, you know, so yeah. as the first on um, my horizon, I remember that I know God can do anything kind of, you know, so. And sure enough, as we get to reach out, we like, found a new, a rich, rich, rich testimony. <laughs> and uh, I'll often talk about the symbolic uh, this, everybody in this community as much we don't want to exaggerate or present to say but it's a symbol and that's symbolic thing that it, you know, especially in the Western person it is so 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 clear and I don't know how to express clearly. And it's hard to come out because we have this moment of ability and you know, flaws, characters, and you know, some limitation. But <coughs> we cannot deny God, God has given us in you know, wherever we get away. So well, we're happy for you to come to be with us, that's for sure. This whole process is that we don't do it presumptuously or without any problems, you know, how to get the room. <coughs> For us, look what a testimony, you know, I think especially young people look at it. God can, you know, move with people. So you guys are good with your life. <laughs> they come over there, which yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. But you have the proof. Uh, and we believe it. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good testament for us and comfort to us that we curve down right because he will get the judgment. He will you know, mm -hmm. make, make and compose the mm -hmm. the lead bugs. So, mm -hmm. you know, we are talking about it. You know, we cannot fall on that in many ways. We don't try to be different. What we try is that we may be called to be the life of the Priests carry the ark in the Jordan of to open the way for us to fulfill food. You know, so our joy is not that we are right or we have a wrong reason. Our joy is God's way can be open so others can, yeah, can carry.
pet shop or, you know, move yeah. on. Yeah. So, yeah. The spirit, the spirit knows there's no pride. Yeah, that's our passion. There's no that's pride in what you're doing. It's yeah. all trust. It's yes. all belief yes. and faith. And uh, it's right. wonderful the strength mm-hmm. and the beauty. Mm-hmm. And look, if you have these words, the power of grace for all the generation. Can I use that word? You know, so. I'm very Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, talking about come to affirm us, to grieve us, and to hear your heart and I realize that we, we, we can think how much that it is, uh, is, a, is a support and help us in so I appreciate that and so um, it's a great joy. Man, it's, it's amazing to me. And it's uh, sometimes you know, I think my time I was with people with non emotions that I really do deserve it and so it was so why God? bring you to our lives. I saw it, you know, and I, and I really saw it, and you shared your life with me. I saw it. More than because you suffer so much, and you still retain faith yeah. to God in the heart of peace, work for these people. And it seems never die, and every time you see this, this is there, you know, so. More importantly, you know, Know that this natural humility, <laughs> you know, care. As a man's God, there's nothing holy like that to, to have another formation, another opinion of God. It's just, you know, we're looking at the simple God. So, um, do you have a full of thoughts from the share or um, to take a minute to bless us? Do you have a user blessing? Yeah. You know, as you did from you. The joy of the Lord, no matter what you go through, no matter how deep and how painful, even if it's something you never imagined, but that you find yourself in, but because the Lord has called you, called you to a place, called you to do something you want to be, something for your sake. But you'll remember and what he'll show you in any moment like that because no one has that grace before the moment. Before <coughs> tragedy, before unusual circumstances, before painful events. You don't have that grace of going into anything. You can't store it up. But what you can know is that his joy will sustain you and his truth in the moment when you're not joyful and having to gather in a picture you didn't expect. There's so many things in life that can be painful like that. And most people in their lifetime, as you experience life, will face things that are painful. But you can rest assured in your heart that it's not going to take you down. Not when your faith is real. No matter how painful, even when your worst throes of crying and pain and suffering, you will be praising Him and believing Him and affirm to him that you believe him. Because that's all you really have at that moment is to believe him. Not curse the day, not mm-hmm. curse anything, not, yeah. not abandon your faith in saying, where God are you, you know, I mean, I thought this or thought that. That's not who you are. You're all built to believe him no matter what. We are. We are. No matter what, there's no question. You don't have to ask God why about anything. You just believe He knows why. And He knows what it's for. He already knows the great thing that's coming out of the, the situation you're in. No matter how painful, tragic, whatever. He already knows what He's going to do with that. For your own life. 
the lives of so many other people that it's going to touch eventually, which you can't even calculate. You can see a ripple effect in your immediate area, but you can't see the ripples that it takes and how much it how far it travels. <clears throat> how great God's works in lasting. In the days when the works of our flesh or the works of anything that wasn't of Him, even sometimes when you thought they were. In the days when those things are burnt up. What's going to stand forever is the faith and the works that God built in you. The work that you did because through you, you were obedient in the moment to do whatever it was. It wasn't for pride, it wasn't for anything. It was because He put you in that moment when you were there. A willing vessel to be in that moment and do what he asked you to do. Mm -hmm. Not even thinking, if you find your mouth up, every day you are speaking your life, speaking kingdom words. Kingdom words that's going to build up his community, his community, the whole body of Christ. We're all part of that body. We're part of that body here. There's a few cells together. But all over the world, God has us. And he has us building His body to the fullest. And while we're doing that, He's building us. So we have great things to look forward to, no matter what condition we're in, no matter what condition those around us are in. He's working great things in everybody's life and working with every one of those situations. Sometimes he'll, he'll heal somebody miraculously. But sometimes what they're going through is for other great purposes. And their job is to praise him, give him the glory. Know that he's doing great things and not ask any questions, just walk in. We all have to walk in things in life that are unpleasant at times. So, it's great to know that our lives are just really so short. Hard to know that in a younger age than you know, when we were younger, this age didn't even seem so far off. Yeah, this age, it's like, oh my gosh, I was his age a few minutes ago, a little age a few minutes ago, and just a little bit past these guys, but, but man, what God has promised, and he said, don't even bother to try to figure it out, because we can't, we can't enter our hearts and minds the good things that he has in store for us. So, best days of all are ahead of us. Christ went to the cross with that joy. <coughs> Knowing what he was going to do gave him great joy. Knowing what the Father was going to do with all of this to save his children. Great joy even to go and suffer what he suffered on the cross and fully known and aware of what that was. Already known. So, we have the example. We have a Savior, God who cares. Created everything. Giver of all life. And He's one on one with all of us. Working through each one of us. Getting ready to lavish us with things beyond our imagination. Once, once our job is over here. So grateful for you guys. So grateful for the work that these guys poured into you, and that He has poured into them, and now you are pouring into us. We see it from 3,000 miles away. Just a little exposure we can see. And God gave us the faith to believe it's real, to see the reality 
to know. It's not a question that we have to think about and toss around. We know it's real. It's just terrifying to you what the Spirit has shown us about you guys. And we have the children coming up. Praise the Lord for all of you. Heavenly Father, what a marvelous work. What a marvelous work with your hands. This community, Lord. Perfect plans. Perfect knowledge and wisdom, Lord, that you have. To bring people from all over the world mm -hmm. to become a community, Lord. Another pocket of resistance, Lord. Not even a resistance, but aggression against the like, gates of hell. Yeah. Those are not offensive gates. They're defensive gates. They're trying to keep us out because we're overcoming them. We thank you for your power, your magnificent glory that those gates can't prevail against us. We're busting down the doors. People are being freed from their grips. They're losing the community. They're losing ground. They're losing territory. And the days are numbered. Our days can't be numbered because they're forever. You have given us eternity. You put it in our hearts. You put our love in our hearts for each other, for you, for the occasion sakes, for your glory. The ambassadors for you, for Christ. Jesus. Spread your word, spread your love. To be vessels, Lord, that you can shine through. And you can speak through. Where people can see and they can hear. And they know we're for real. They know we're not hypocrites and followers. They know your spirit is in us. They sense it. They see it. And yes, some may rebel and hate us. They hate because they know it's true. They hate the very darkness that encompasses them and keeps them down. They're buried down there somewhere in that body. So Father, let us never fear where you lead us. Let us never fear when we open our mouths to allow you to speak. Allow your spirit to further your kingdom, Lord. And also to help one another, encourage one another to greater and greater heights in you. Father, may your spirit possess all of us completely. Let your thoughts, your ways, your heart, your desires, let them replace everything that we have in these vessels. That we may, we may, Lord, be perfect images of you. That you may be who people see when they look at us. Not see human beings typical churchgoers or religious spirited people and see the spirit of the living God see that we believe in the only begotten son your unique son is known like him you and you alone do we worship as God infinitely most high there's no one like you there's no one to compare to you you said you know no other God. Not one. That's enough for us. Yes. That's enough for us. The so-called gods, Lord, you named. You gave them positions. You gave them authority for a time. And they failed you. But Lord, you saved the people who know who you are. 
and our knees don't bow to any other God. We praise you for being our one and only. Bless this community, Lord. Bless us all to represent you in the greatest light. Let us be willing vessels in every way. Let us believe the works you will do in the world. Not be swayed by our own minds. Not be swayed by thoughts that don't come from you. Lord, let us hear your voice in everything that we do. Everyone we meet, let them see Jesus. Let them see your spirit. So give us wisdom, Lord, to grow together. Give us wisdom, Lord, for this generation. And more and more, that they will grow to be mighty warriors in Christ. For your kingdom's sake, for your glory. Father, fill their hearts to overflow the love of God. They may love you with all their heart and serve you with all their strength. And never back down, Lord. Make them mighty warriors for your kingdom's sake. Bless them. <coughs> Bless the adults. Bless all of us together. In the wonderful name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, your Son. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. shared um, some image of a well-worn tree on, on a precipice, on a cliff. And in that tree there was a, uh, there was an eagle's nest. There were three eggs, three eagle eggs. And uh, the one on the far left, well, they all started moving, but the one on the far left broke open first. And it, it wasn't like a, it was an eagle. It wasn't like a chick, but it, it, it was like a, a young adult. It would have been like a young adult. Uh, but it was, it wasn't just an eagle. It was completely made of fire. This was an eagle of fire. Mm -hmm. Then the one on the far right and jiggles a little bit more, breaks free. Same thing, young adult eagle, but it is an eagle of, of wind. And so it didn't have form, but you could tell it was swift. It was like the wind. Uh, the third... Uh, then shook, cracked open. It was and it was an actual like bald eagle again, young adult. Uh, but in its mouth, it had um, like a branch, a leafy branch. Um, from there, it kind of pulls away to a to a, a valley, and you see one <coughs> tree. And I believe the tree was meant to represent your life. And I think this is really a confirming word because things that you said um, after I had the vision were clearly pictures of this, um, but I think it represented your life. Um, but this tree was, it didn't have any leaves. It was the fall, so there wasn't an expectation that there would be. But the bark had been completely like pe peeled away, completely peeled away. Um, and then the, you would see the uh, first the eagle of fire uh, came down and swept over this tree and, and in the area around it, and it burns and burns and burns. This this tree just burns. Um, and then the next thing you see is the the eagle of wind coming down with 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 such a mighty wind that it didn't blow the fire outward like normally wind would blow, um, but it was so powerful going around this tree that it, it stopped the fire. And you could see at the foot of the tree that this was not a tree from that region. It was actually, you could see that it was trapped in a pot, mm, but the pot had been broken open and the, the, the roots had gone deep. Mm. The last eagle then descends uh, from the mountaintop uh, and comes and it, it, it inserts the branch within, 
the middle of the, the main the stem. trunk. The stem. Yeah, mm -hmm. the stem of it goes in. Mm -hmm. And Im immediately the tree begins to bring new life, the mm -hmm. ground around it, new life. Mm -hmm. uh, and the eagles <coughs> soar off, all together soar off. Uh, and then you see solid, like a solitary sparrow land on the tree. Uh, and then there was a, a bigger bird, and I couldn't, couldn't quite make what it was, but it was a, a medium-sized bird that came, uh, and you see them beginning to build a nest. Uh, and then there was a, a, an owl that came and, and burrowed in. And so you have this really young, very small bird, medium-sized bird, and this very old uh, owl uh, that all landed on the, uh, the tree. Uh, and then you just, you, you would see, again, just building building their nests. And so it was a place of, of refuge, and that's where it ended. So the nest was in the mountain? It started first up in the mountain, and then now there were multiple different nests, one for a sparrow, one for a... But initially, you were just saying there was a tree... In the mountain, on the precipice of a mountain, kind of overlooking... And the nest was in the tree on the mountain? On the mountain. But the other tree was a separate tree. Separate tree. Okay. And that tree was in a, would have been a valley, I guess, from where the, the mountain. I, I, the, I couldn't really see. I mean, when the eagle brought, I mean, it was a, it had leaves. Mm -hmm. So it grew leaves. Uh, they looked more, I mean, more like a typical, like, they're not fat. They weren't long and thin. They weren't fat and short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were kind of a medium mm -hmm. in, in the typical leaf shape, you know, kind of that teardrop mm -hmm. shape. And then some kind of like the roots kind of dessert and fish. Sounds like the coffee sounds. Yeah. No, no, your t-shirt, I would really eat it. Like, remember I teased you on oh, the yeah. t-shirt? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. exactly. <clears throat> yeah, I love that shirt. As read the branch from yesterday. I sent a message in some Isaiah city this morning. So a private <coughs> talking the branch. I better read it because it seems they need it for reference. <coughs> I almost quoted it. Uh, this more is a learning than branch <coughs> with Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11 was a branch on the stem of Jesse, come out of the fire, brother. And then continuous imagery in Isaiah, continues, uh, the prophetic imagery from one prophet goes on. In city one, told the priesthood, the sons in God's house. They called all righteous, but it's a mighty tree, a well rounded tree, before green tree. The all righteousness, speaking about this people, going to rebuild God's ancient foundation, restore his ancient foundation. The priesthood. A city, somewhere <coughs> where I sent this morning. When the glory of Lebanon be given to it. Now when I was a young believer, one day the Jesus came and in his hand will hold up a word well tender shirt. I mean like a like a miniature of a, a tree. Tender shirt, but a tender shirt, yeah. Drop was green. It, it was dark in time. And then they gave to me. He said, I have given you the glory of Lebanon. I don't know what Lebanon glory is, I have. So I began to study Lebanon. So I talked actually with Prima. And she said about the other information from the glory of Lebanon was a the trees are used to build Solomon's temple. So, yeah. So, so this today the Lord brings this back to me. Yeah. 
And here it is in City 13. So the glory of Lebanon will come to you. The same quotation came to Isaiah 35, talking about the highway holiness. The glory of Lebanon will restore back to God's people. The, tribute, the, the, the juniper, the fool, and saw pressed together to adore my sanctuary, his temple. A glorify the place so my rest, his temple, for my feet. And the children of precious will come born before you. All who despise you will bow down their feet and will call you the seed of the Lord. Zion and the Holy One Israel. Thank you, Father. And goes on. I don't want to read everything. But in 21, Psalm but said, Then all your people will be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. And they are the shoot that I planted, the work of my hands, for the display of my splendor. Then this you will become souls and smallest and mighty nation. I am the Lord. In the time, I'll do this swiftly. Swiftly. <coughs> so that's the scripture this morning is given to me. Now, I believe that we didn't put the word much. Very much prophetic, you said? Yes. <laughs> the Lord has... Ronnie, there, there are things in your life that are not... I'm going to make some obvious statements, but they're bigger than the, they're the nature of their obviousness. God's use for your life has not even really begun yet. So many years were robbed and they're going to be restored. That's part of the stripping of the tree and the confinement of the pot. But what's really interesting is that the root broke through the pot. So your confinement and suffering did not keep God from allowing something to grow deep and be a reality. But you have remained stripped and basically incapable of being uh, able to offer a true shelter and be a, uh, the representation of that tree of Lebanon or mighty tree or tree of righteousness that God is going to have you be. And this isn't about positions before men. It has everything to do with the housing of uh, the birds are representative of different lives, different types of lives that will find shelter and covering in your canopy. So uh, that is in, in a great portion going to have to do with the relationships in our own community and young people and other relationships. Um, how that flourishes out is going to be, I would encourage you, let go of every idea and imagination of what you even think that's going to be like. God will very evidently use the experiences of your life to be a benefit to others, but not in the way that you think. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be direct connection, experience, and benefit. It's going to be that what God has allowed in your life will have created in you mm -hmm. a, such a wisdom 
that it will be able to the wisdom uh, let me clarify again the wisdom that you will be able to offer which is the covering the the rebarking the, the leaves on your tree what brings shelter and and covering to others is not going to be related to your experiences mm -hmm. but it's going to be what God developed in you because of them mm -hmm. that's very different it's a new life it's, it's a whole branch. new life it's a sonship the word word branch mm -hmm. means sonship mm -hmm. yeah. we see that yes I think what robbed your life and when should you say if we call it a sonship of the common church. You will be healed, I believe. I have done healing all the things you belong and receiving God will be revitalized at that time because it's changed by our natural to take care of all your needs, you know. So I think the church is the one characteristic is all things wrong. The church orphan, spiritual orphans, spiritual orphan. In the church age, church age, spiritual orphans have run the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's not going to allow that anymore. Mm -hmm. That actually was the the identifier and marker for the church age. That's why there has to be a departation, a closing of one, and an opening of another. And nothing to do with formation of the doing church or doing ministry. Mm -hmm. It's a who is doing it in the day matters. Sons, yeah. not orphans. Mm -hmm. And like you said, mm -hmm. that's going to directly correlate to uh, fellowship as relationship and not function as formality. Right. Mm -hmm. It's very different. Right. And what you said is very important to me too about Trying to envision what, what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not be presumptuous about mm -hmm. what his words Jesus is. said these other parables. Obviously, this is a, a prophetic parable, if we are reading a parable. He used O garment, O one skin. And then, it's, unfortunately, we, we come to a a place we try to help God <clears throat> by insisting on all things that He naturally said is either outdated or actually illegitimate. So it's not that we did the wrong thing intentionally, but for the economy God transition from John the Baptist to Jesus. That's a huge transition, if you will. The word in our own context, I don't want that to be interpreted by anyone else but ourselves. <laughs> it's a prophetic age come to the true apostle age. You know, apostle is, I'm not talking about the Mary, a single one apostle, the teaching, I'm talking about the Christ, him as a representation of God's ministry on earth. And in embodying it, is the economy of the life of sonship. <coughs> That's the foundation Paul lay and continue to labor on, you know, to build the church of him. That's why this verse in CT moves on, talking about the prison. But one, Christ is being anointed one, now become many, many sons into glory. Bring many sons into glory, and that song is a priesthood. And clearly, city one machine guns, and that is a bridal age because leading to two ministries is in our fulfillment. One is like a bridegroom marry the bride, adored in the full attire, like a high priest in the Jewish tradition. It's a fulfillment of something in in a priesthood fulfillment. The priestly endowment. Because sons will start a new lineage. That's like the family of the father. Second one was interesting. Is a restore the garment. Garden Eden. That's in the beginning. The shift. 
in that that's the economy. So there are two economies combined supposedly together. The full restoration got the full economy. One is a mankind restored to be airship. As a living son of God. But air has inheritance of the stewardship, which is the responsibility that a son of mission to replicate and probably the culture of the garden even. That's all. In Isaiah the eleventh chapter, I highly recommend really pound on it. That's um, the eleventh chapter, the prayer. Mm-hmm. The seventh spirit of God. Follow to Isaiah sixty one. CT to CT1. Because CT declared it was a blue star piece color of the whole world. Then arise the glory of God and rise among his chosen people. So this is more than just a prophetic hope with no time frame in a sense. So just like Christ first came, he's a light in the darkness. So is a gross start and we're going to take or take the end time and God intended for the holy people yeah. yes to be to be a forerunner or a signal for his of the four restorations coming kingdom yeah. I think that is a song company will be approved sent into the man's realm again to claim a bride, a bridal company. And if you look at Jesus pattern, and the, again here talking about, it's songs taught by the Heavenly Father as a, a divine entrustment to this priesthood, the order of Melchizedek. Now this song company, suppose the disciple teach the Father's way to restore that identity and restore that economy, that culture, if you will, of the heaven to such a people. And it's very hard to come away because we all believe, we know it. Most Christians will say, I got it, I'm practicing it. That's where the tough job comes because it has to be really heavy. Reality you know, is, is not in the mind, it's not in the prophetic hope. Reality is in the actualization and preparation of living grace. Oh, and Jesus understood that, and therefore they said, they are steward of God's grace. They are administrator of God's grace. And oftentimes, the productions define grace, we see the proper grace, very much intellectual conclusion, conclusion, organization, if you will, you know. It's not living grace. The grace is not really given to a body or someone that God said, whatever the word, <laughs> here I can trust you, you know, so I, I don't think the church, through the that church really have emphasized and understood what Jesus had the apostles carried. The Paul understood that before he continued to emphasize, not merely for the purpose to defend the apostleship, Rather wholehearted, zealous one others to see what he carried. He said, Will you come to this fellowship? Let me let me impart this this these things and God to me. But the, you know, the truth is that just like even in their day, there is a huge barrier for people not able to to really discern what that is. And to receive it. You know team recently recalibrated the same kind of opposition use a, a historical woman to show up as the people. On tale of Moses as a passing as the older generation. In the ye of other in that occasion was after they conquered the promised land, right? So already so what? ready to parse out the promised land. Mm-hmm. He recommended Jericho was finished, yeah. but they still had all of the, the, all of the yeah. others to conquer. Oh yeah, yeah. So therefore, which they never finished. They never finished. Yeah, it's a it's interesting to see that through the age of mankind, the Bible mostly concentrated on before the early church of this history of man has resisted God, meditation, but. 
such a history written so far has never from that kind of vantage point to look at it. Mm-hmm. How after the early church we have weird off God's design and heart for his people and we continue resisting today the genuine requirements and no calling God if you will. And it needs some kind of we can't call, you know, so I think in that symbol of prophetic imagery like Tim, Justin, even the young people in my for now only begin to have a glimpse of immensity of the difference. Because totally different world. <laughs> I think your testimony will be to show the difference. To explain the difference. More than because there's a beautiful company of people, beautiful young generation right because you need to find the source why they think it's different. The source of the reason why they think it's different. I think it should not never concentrate on personality. It should concentrate on the we, the grace of God, where, 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 where it was the first granted, how it was granted. And that's hard because, you know, God's work always is through personality, so to differentiate a certain personality from God's real work. It's sometimes necessary, sometimes not necessary, even so. Somebody can replace Tim's role in my life. I said, give me a break. Give me a break. He may have many things to be growing to, to mature, establish into it. But nobody can replace him. He's role in God's work my life for all my life. That's not to be argued. Yeah, it's not to be argued. Because it's not us doing it. See, it's, a, it's, it's that kind of a understanding is a very rare. Because we never have the reality, the reference point. Coming day that it will be very real. The danger is to properly do things think it's somehow we did it, team did it, I did it, or you know, maybe no arise, I know what did it. They choose to do it. Rather than really search not he was a God did it. <laughs> God made it happen. Well he surely use us. I think that is converging you. Yes. I think that's what's converging your life. It's almost like a highlight moment, this free food moment, brother. So it's having me down like, can we pray for you? Because I would think we sit down, try to meditate on the vision. Father, we thank you for your for the work that you've already accomplished in the life of this brother. Or that, that truly there you, you have allowed him to break out or to be to be rooted even when the enemy has tried to keep him contained Lord I do pray for this this new season Lord that that you are bringing forward Father I, I thank you that he has uh, he has been one who has been laid bare before you Lord that has been exposed to the elements and yet stood faithful. Lord, and you have, uh, you have not uh, forgotten him nor abandoned him. Lord, but, but your purposes, though we can't always see them immediately, are intentional. Lord, in, in that season of, of waiting, that season of patient endurance is passing, Lord, and you're bringing about new growth, new life, new purpose, Lord, and I just even echo uh, the, the counsel, Lord, that, that is not going to look like anything that this brother can even imagine. Yes. Lord, and he, and he even prayed it, Lord. Yes. We, we, can, we can't begin to fathom what you are preparing for yes. the ones you love. Lord, and your heart is for this brother. And this brother's heart is for you. Lord, and, and I am certainly thankful. We are certainly thankful to have him 
for this moment in our midst, Lord. And we, we look forward to seeing how you work all things together to bring him. Let me just work clear. There's a reason why your last name is a lamb. Mm -hmm. for, the, for the people who challenge it. And we shy about it, you know. We talk about it as we'll point a finger and say, well, you know. But the others link on it, and the glimpses will link on it. Hey, God, give me this name, give this sign. <laughs> This is the simple part of his affirmation to our life. And we should not shy about those things. We should have said, God has all things for me. This is the reason why you're being mistreated, abused by this society, by this religion. The lamb meant to be a token sufferer, innocent suffering. Now I'll give you some hints just for you to see the symbolic work of God. Use your whole life to symbolize something. But that kind of capacity, as that kind of connection, for agreement, how are you going to just have any soul to say, hey, let me tell you, this is why God made my life like this. Real hard, only for those men to seek it out. And most of them believe on it, but act upon it. To, to relate and call live accordingly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mama, son, Mama. You close your eyes, brother. I pray, because the Spirit is all over you. I pray you have a vision. How long you have now have a vision? Or you see the vision already take care of everything for you. You need to lay this burden down, not that my compelling voice, but it's really not necessary to carry those burdens and use those as a parameter to design, define what the next thing is for you, brother. Because the two limited, so. The yet limited. The key is to get the branch into the stem. That's the key. To let your whole life revitalize to the ways that never before. <laughs> Never before. Mm -hmm. And more than heal everything. But to revitalize the way it may be. Amen? Hallelujah. And it will be a sweet work. What word? A sweet work. Because you have prepared for this. You, you can, like, Kairos moment lead uh, across build up lead the Kairos moment moment of transformation just like that overnight you shall birth forth hallelujah and this is not a new baby the birthing for a young ego instantly can do the job hallelujah so you must interface with God's ministry according because that is three ministry to you. Amen? Three ministry to you. You must interface with a new life. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. No I come wrong, maybe you can. Let's see if we just want brothers real. This if I can tell you, brother, you know it's true. This is a foreordained for you. We have seen in visions a mighty mountain range, all snow and there is river in between. You know, they, we didn't design the vacation location, I know nothing about living. <laughs> well, 
looking into this mountain and said, wow, that's, that's somebody's wish. <laughs> Snow melt into, right? Mm -hmm. And we have a mountain, a river, but not like this. The whole valley course was a river course. Is a river course. Maybe he has something already. I don't know. So I saw something. You saw something already. Just, just a small thing, but mm. um, the Lord I closed my eyes and immediately reminded me of a dream that I had. But then the vision was set on top of that dream, mm. and the dream I had at one point was that I was being lifted up and they were tall mountains, almost vertically. Mm. And they were just around at the base and they mm. were around at the top. Mm -hmm. They didn't flare out that much, mm -hmm. but they were thoroughly green. Mm. And they were a whole gaggle of them. They were, mm. didn't know there were that many until mm. he brought me up there mm. and put me up there. Mm. And I looked around and I saw these everywhere. Right mm. over there, 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 and then mm. tons of them. And there, was, there was others mm. on top of those. Mm. Mm. He put me on this one. Mm. And uh, so when I closed my eyes and, and it was said that this time, when he showed me that one particular one, not all the other ones, but this time I was over it. This time I was looking mm. down on it. Mm -hmm. And that's where there was just a lamb waiting, just waiting, like laid down, like in a submissive, mm. waiting and just being quiet. Mm. Well, there you go. That's your life. The mountains, Mantis Mountains, is a glory living in the means. And they were greener than green. Yes. Green every single one. Because that's, that's a landscape in the East Lights, landscape. When you go about, look at the mountains regions, you see those Mantis forests. Yeah, that's magnificent. Yes. But that's a river source, by the way. That's the source of river for Georgian River. So you can imagine that we, how much can move a, a Israelite's heart. Because that's where the land, the life came from. Better than now, right? In that equation. That's a promised land. And God bring the, what is it, timbers from that mountain furnished as a gift to Solomon to build the temple. Now, I don't know how to explain to you. These things, you know, often come with signs of wonders. It's not scholarly study because we first see it. Then it's real. And God told me, your life is involved with this. It's in the Bible. It's here. It's a different way of learning things. Very much different way. And, and it's very hard for people to understand actually it can happen like that. So, to one that God gave me this little branch, Jesus. Yeah, I give you the glory of liberty. <laughs> and now, uh, idea branch in those days means a sonship, see. <laughs> you know, so, go ahead. Lord, with all my heart, I bless this dear brother. Lord, I thank you for the beautiful, even the nourishing testimony of his life. Lord, such a blessing and a ray of hope to each one of us in our spiritual walk. 
or not just personally, but as it relates to our community and your people, your work and your purpose. Lord, may you continue to stir Hallelujah. on his heart. Glory to God. Lord, may his capacity, Lord, to receive from you and to pour out your blessing and your grace, uh, your power and your wisdom from his life, Lord, to be to others and to your people broken bread and poured out wine. Lord, may that increase uh, beyond what he even thought was possible. Lord, for even as was earlier mentioned, Lord, the potential of his life and the future that you have in store for him is so great, even at this time of his life. And Lord, even uh, in light of the time he has lost or that was robbed from him mm. lord indeed i confirm well that it will be made up to him mm. lord a hundredfold mm. in the days ahead mm. lord it will bring such a fulfillment to his heart and to your heart lord lord you impress it upon me lord mm. to or say that it is Ronnie's life and his presence amongst us that is such a beautiful and clear confirmation of your favor, mm -hmm. Lord, of your blessing and the advancement of your purposes, mm -hmm. Lord, to bring about uh, such an example and testimony of Ronnie's life in the midst of our people. And Lord, it is indeed only just beginning. Lord, there is so much that you have planned for him. And uh, Lord, he is such uh, an example and inspiration to me. Lord, from the little that I do know of the greater extent of his life and history, Lord, to the very way that he carries himself, or the way that he speaks and relates with others. And so, Lord, I know that if, Lord, I am influenced in this way, he will most certainly be an influence to each one of us and the younger generation. Amen. So Lord, I bless our brother Ronnie in Jesus' name. In Jesus, amen. In Jesus, amen. Tim has any deep thoughts for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know for sure. Oh. I was thinking of the vision again. Mm. And just some of the, the representations there with the, the bird. Mm. I think, you know, uh, the ministry that, that God has given Brother Emmanuel is very much like it's manifold, but there's a season still coming uh, for the fire and the wind mm. that's prior to establishment or mm. to full renewal. Mm. And uh, what stripped the tree bare is not the same so fire we we equate to judgment and cleansing mm. and you know the tree looks as though it has been judged but that was not a true judgment mm. the fire is real judgment mm. but it's righteous mm. So fire is judgment, but it's also cleansing and renewing. And uh, so those things, I think, are, that's why I think there has, there will be such a detachment mm. from what God formed in you mm. up until this point in your life and then what it becomes. Mm. Uh, So, anyway, I don't, I don't. I have a lot of swirling thoughts about it, but mm. I'm not trying to go far in the prophetic nature mm. of the, the vision itself. Mm. But you know, rather 
the, the, it's a it's a very encouraging very very encouraging thought. So the word is revelation a bit. <laughs> revelation. It's surreal, you know. No man can make 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 such things happen. I guess one thing that was um, that I was thinking about it was that you know, sometimes, like like Nebuchadnezzar was in many ways like a great tree that was cut down. Mm -hmm. So sometimes God works in a person's life. You know, in Nebuchadnezzar's life, he, he was, there was a great, not accomplishment necessarily on his part, but a high. He was taken by God from a high place to a low place. Joseph was taken from a low place to a high place. And what God wrought in him was very different. So that at the end of Nebuchadnezzar's life, he could only confess who God was because of the way that God demonstrated himself to him. Mm. But what Joseph became and what was born of him, mm. you know, what became a lot more than that. Mm. His single life became a double blessing, mm. you know, through <coughs> Ephraim and Manasseh, yeah. uh, which actually ties directly into previous discussion today about the arrow and mm -hmm. wisdoms and different things. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I think there's, when I observe someone's life and I don't carry any from this standpoint judgment or discernment but just a, a very objective op, uh, observation mm -hmm. um, someone who has been conditioned by God mm -hmm. in the way that you you have been, mm -hmm. God's not going to let that go. No way. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, mm -hmm. he does not do that to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, that, in, 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 from our standpoint, from my standpoint, then mm -hmm. it really is an honor mm -hmm. of, and privilege <coughs> to, to know you. Yes, brother. That's uh, so true. And that's not having much to do with your experience in life, but the experience of God in your life. <laughs> yes. This is just, we, we don't, not many people will ever get to, to know someone like you. In the Lord, there, there there are very few, you know, and so Lord, we we bless this brother, Lord. We are we we just want to give you praise and glory for his life, Lord. There are countless unspoken words and thoughts, countless. to be equaled with the vastness of the universe, the created order. But you've seen them all. You know them all. Every intimate thought. Every, every question. Every sorrow. And it was for your good pleasure. Lord, I'm, I'm sorry that we cannot take pleasure in what you take pleasure in. Our, our finite mind and earthly <laughs> body can hardly ever break through that. But Lord, when we, when we are given the opportunity to know a brother like this. Your capacity 
is beyond our imagination. Certain things we cannot fathom. But to you, they're like a drop in the bucket. Hey, uh, brother, your, your joy in the Lord will be so great. It already is, I know that. But people look to you now and wish that they could have the contentment that you do. But what God will give to you is beyond your imagination. Here in this life and for eternity. And Lord, I, I thank you for that. I thank you for the willingness of this dear brother to be in your hands such a vessel. Lord, even to, to learn of his plight in life as, as the world sees him. He now sees your goodness. And I pray that he would know it. in a greater capacity. Not because he's incapable of knowing or hasn't wanted to know it, but because you have waited to the right time to lavish it upon him. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we, we want to open Amen. that in his heart, Amen. in his mind. Amen. 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 Oh, let it be poured out, poured out, that he might be for you everything, everything that you desire, everything that you desire. His life was in your mind and your heart before his, he was ever conceived, and it brought you joy. Lord, let that joy be a gift let him become fully unreservedly without any hindrance or restriction a flow of your joy and that's a that is a blessing to us a great blessing to us tonight Lord, a healing and restoration is not enough to ask. Lord God. And you, Lord know, you know that, Lord. Lord God. You have more to give this Lord brother God. than Lord healing God. from the pains and sufferings of life. Name. It's greater than that. It's In better Jesus than that. Name. It's better than that. It's better than Jesus retribution. Name. It's better than, uh, uh, well, anything yet imagined. Better than being proved right or righteous. Because you are already righteous. You always have been. You have already made this dear brother righteous in your sight. You will be, you will be, his vindication. Lord, we receive this brother as a blessing in our midst. And I pray that all that you have stored in him or all that you have created in him to be or to become or to have a great capacity for what you are yet to pour out in his life Lord we receive as a blessing from you a gift from you
He is a blessing. He is a blessing. Now I suppose to say something because we have this bread, but hallelujah to us, Lord. Lord, you have anything? Bless you, brother. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our spirit with you in the rest. Continue to confirm with you. Guys, brothers. Come on. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are.